What's up, YouTube? Welcome to another episode of Supercar Corgi Vlog. Uh, it's a beautiful day today out here in San Clemente. Uh, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And uh, yeah, let's go check out some cars. What a beautiful color. All right, you've got the carbon fiber bonnet. It looks like it's got the Wysak package from, from the looks of it. And the carbon fiber mirror cap, the HUD, and the carbon fiber rear wing which usually i don't see this option often most people just opt for like the paint, factory paint color but beautiful color looks like factory exhaust i mean i feel like this thing with the aftermarket exhaust just screams so but beautiful beautiful color and one of my favorite parts about gt3 rs is the louver vents um absolutely beautiful naka ducks right here for airflow downforce but beautiful oh it's my friend sarah look who it is <laughs> you're good we have arrived at the supercar section this is my favorite section to check out, obviously because we're our channel is super car corgi. So this is my favorite spot to come out and see what cars are out today. And uh, yeah, let's go check it out. All right, so here we have the Pista. It's not really, I'm not digging the color as much, but I do like the contrast that matches with the interior and the exterior. Very beautiful, wow. And then we have the uh, 765 LT. Beautiful. Love this color. And uh, the interior also kind of matches. The, it has the blue stitching to match the exterior. So I, I like that a lot. I'm surprised that this isn't actually carbon fiber. But it's got some carbon fiber packages here and here. Louver vents. And then... One of the things I love about the 765LT is this graded little panels uh, for the heat to escape from the engine. And that way you can continue to just have maximum horsepower, you know, output. Um, because this is designed for track, it's the ultimate track version of uh, 720S. So, what do you guys think? I like this color. In the, sh in the sun, there's... A it I, I wouldn't say it changes colors, but it, it kind of displays a different shade in, in the sun and different parts of the sun. So it's a very unique color. I like it. <laughs> He's my friend. He's my friend. You guess me that man. Come on, man. <laughs> so we've got the Tech Arts Porsche 911 Turbo S with a Tech Art built. Uh, you can see the aftermarket exhaust they put on here, a rear spoiler. Uh, even this little bits right here i'm sure actually that might be from porsche I'm, I'm not exactly sure but you can see the carbon fiber bits side skirt carbon fiber mirror cap and noticeable difference uh, is also this front where it says tech art but mainly it's the performance upgrade that you get with tech art very cool <laughs> and then we've got this yellow f8 F8 Spider. Wow, check out the yellow contrast stitching. That's one thing that Ferrari does super well. And I, I really like seeing that because I'm a little OCD, so I like things organized, but check that out. Really like, like the slick look. Personally, I do not like the spiders. The reason for that is because you can't see the engine bay. Um, when you're spending like three, four hundred thousand dollars on a car, you want to see the master work, right? You want to see those uh, beautifully designed engine covers, carbon fiber, but that's just me. Um, each to each is their own. So let's go check out some more cars. All right, here's the Ford GT with golf livery. Well, I wouldn't say it's exactly golf because it just has the color tone, but I wouldn't exactly call this golf livery, but golf inspired, I guess. But if you wanted to make a golf, you would have to go full on race inspired and just put the race number on there. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, 
There's more cars here. Now, I'm not much of a truck guy, but uh, this would be the only truck I would buy. Uh, it's a 1500 uh, Ram, Ram 1500 TRS. So, it's actually really stunning in person. I'm not a big fan of the color. I would personally choose white, but let's go check it out. So, as you can see, it's it's got this wide body line compared to like a standard 1500, right? Uh, it is supercharged, 6.2 liter. That is such an insane, insanely big engine. Uh, unfortunately, I mean, I feel like this is gonna go up in value because everything is moving over to electricity, being electrified now and love this really scoop. And it does have a little LED lights right here. Um, so it lights up nicely at night, but just digging the profile of this truck. Um, I actually like it better than the Ford Raptor, which is which is crazy, you know. I, I'm a big fan of Ford Raptor, but um, yeah, it's a it's a beautiful truck. So if I bought one, it would be this guy. So one of the coolest things about South OC Cars and Coffee is the fact that you have so many variety of cars that come here and uh, showcase their cars. So it's really for everyone. It's for any car enthusiast, uh, even motorcycles. So, you know, you get pretty much everyone and their family and their moms and pops to come out and uh, check out the event. So, yeah, when you guys, if you guys are in uh, Orange County, come check out the show. Like I said, it's, uh, South, it's called South OC CNC. So check out their Instagram, check out the show. And uh, yeah, see you guys here, hopefully. So here's something you don't really see every day. This is uh, Ducati Desmodici. Uh, it's a basically street legal MotoGP bike. I believe retail they were going for about like 80,000 way, like probably almost five, six, seven years ago. So, or even 10 years ago. Now, I would imagine this was, this is way high up in the value now. So let's go check it out. So, you can see, if you're a fan of MotoGP, you can see that classic shape of a MotoGP bike. And this is very reminiscent. Have a good one, man. It's very reminiscent of the uh, MotoGP exhaust coming out in the back, but very cool. I mean, it's you really don't see these. Um, it's a very rare opportunity to see them because there's so few far in between, but yeah. Now one thing I noticed is that, I don't know if you guys can see, but this entire thing is carbon fiber. In different lighting, you might be able to see the weaving right there, right? And I don't know about the tank, but all the body work, including if you can see the inside, it's you can see the inside, it's carbon fiber, so it's been painted over. So super lightweight. And uh, like I said, this is made for track. It is a MotoGP bike made for the street. So imagine that. All right, so here's something we don't see every day, Spiker. It's a Spiker C8. And I'm told that what the roof scoop is actually really rare. And you can see in the scoop, that's where the air flows into the engine. Uh, it looks like there's an additional intake here. And everything is hand-stitched, custom-made interior. Very beautiful. Spiker C8, I can't quite pronounce that, but very beautiful. It's such a rare car to see. And there's only a handful of them. And I'm told this is actually an Audi engine that they're using. Very nice. And I never knew that the doors go up like Lamborghinis. I've only ever seen Spiker on uh, Top Gear, you know, when they used to cover, you know, various variety of cars and Spiker was one of the favorite cars they, they would talk about. And so seeing this in person is actually an tr absolute treat because this is my first time ever seeing it in person. So very nice. It's a bit of a slow turnout today. Um, I mean, it's still, it's still a packed house, but it is a little bit slower than usual than what I'm used to. So 
Uh, normally you would see cars just like line up out here and create a traffic, but um, it is just before 10 and that's when the car starts rolling out. So we'll probably start seeing cars roll out here to, uh, in about a few minutes. But um, I think that really kind of does it for the video today. There's really not much else to check out, but don't forget to like, share and subscribe and uh, stay tuned for more. See you guys next time.